out on the water near Seattle. Eleven college undergraduates, aspiring young ocean scientists from diverse backgrounds. I'm a student at the University of Texas at El Paso. My major is environmental sciences with a concentration in geoscience. Oceanography is actually something that really interests me and back at home there isn't the option to take oceanography so I really wanted to experience this opportunity to be able to work with oceanography professionals. Okay, uh, if you can come up to 5-0 please. These interns are aboard the University of Washington research vessel Rachel Carson. They've come to gain valuable experience with research techniques, scientific instruments, and technology, and to learn the ropes from expert mentors. Conductivity, temperature, and depth, CTD. Um, you've seen us use it. We talked about conductive wires in salt water at depth. So you want that to be a really good termination because it needs to be watertight. The intern's goal, secure a foothold on the first step toward a career in oceanographic science technology, engineering, or mathematics. This cruise is a highlight of the first year at APLUW's DINOSIP. This program is specifically, which is called DINOSIP, or the Diverse and Inclusive Naval Oceanographic Summer Internship Program, is designed to target students that are from underrepresented minorities, um, which means they might come from underrepresented communities, populations, and um, they all have really amazing stories that were really, really inspiring when they apply. I love this program. I'm very excited. It's my first internship, first like program I've, I've been a part of, and it's been super fun. I've been learning so much, just more about like how to do research, what it entails, and like I love the people also in this program. It's been super fun. While ashore, the interns took part in lab orientation and instruction. Lessons and insights learned in class were then applied to the hands-on tasks required to conduct scientific research at sea. I want to do something in the ocean. I, I love so much the, the water, the sea and all of that. My project, that one, it is like, it, it is about the, well, the wind and the tides. Uh, I'm not an expert in it. Yes. Yes, I will be. I learned how to collect water samples and depending on like different levels and also like how there's different oxygen levels in them and then the color and all the chemicals that we had to do. So I feel like it was pretty interesting. So I'm focusing on microfloats and what I'm designing this summer is essentially a drag screen that allows for um, the microfloat to have more buoyancy control underwater. We are doing um sediment transport in the near shore environment. Well, the hope is that they get to not only learn how to do these types of measurements and the reasons that we take them, but also maybe consider themselves and picture themselves in careers in oceanographic sciences. I'm really excited to leverage this awesome opportunity. I think it's like kind of levels the playing field for a lot of us that are in it. It's really hard to find internships like this and like it's kind of advances us like by a lot um, in like a lot of ways like professionally and also like maturity wise and also like just resources like so many cool people I've met um, just by being at the APL so um, yeah I'm really excited to like move forward with the things I've learned and the people I've met. This year we have 11 students which is very exciting because it's our first year and we are very happy to host them. I think you get like 11 new people in the science community who might not have been here without this program. And you, you get interns to crank all your data out for you in the summer. At the end of the summer internship, students put it all together and presented their research results to the APLUW community and beyond. So cool, yeah.